friends, it's Lisa, and welcome to a very exciting vlog. I'm going to be doing a 24-hour readathon today, and I decided to vlog it. I did a 24-hour readathon last month and didn't really vlog it, so I wanted to vlog this time. So me, Casey, and Darian are going to be hosting a 24-hour readathon. We're doing a few live shows throughout the 24 hours. I think we're doing one um, at 11.30, and then one at 8, and then one at 9 tomorrow morning. So that's going to be fun. It's 11.10 now, so I have like 20 minutes before we go live, so I thought I would talk to you guys about my TBR. Of course, also, today is like the hottest day of the year so far, and I really would like to keep my blinds closed, but like people have to see me on camera on the live show, so please pray for me and hope I don't sweat too much, but anyway, the TBR. <laughs> so I know for a fact that I'm going to start with With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for quite some time. I put it on my 2021 TBR video and I haven't read like any of the books from that video yet so I figured I should probably start. <laughs> and I also found out that we aren't getting a new Elizabeth Acevedo book until like 2023 so that made me really sad and made me want to pick this up even sooner so I'm going to start with this. After that it's a little unclear. <laughs> I know that if I'm reading a novel and then I want to take a break in between like the actual novels that I'm reading, I thought about rereading Heartstopper Volume 1 and then reading for the first time Heartstopper Volume 2. Heartstopper Volume 3 just came out in the US I think at the beginning of May so I want to get a copy of that and I want to obviously read Volume 2 before I get to Volume 3 so I might read these just kind of as a little break in between. And then I have a couple other options for what I might want to pick up. I kind of just picked the books that I'm like the most interested in reading right now and I forgot one so let me go and grab that. <laughs> so the first one that I might pick up is Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. This is in the same series as Love and Gelato which I read last year and was surprised by. I really enjoyed it so I really want to read the other books in the series that's kind of just like a companion series. I think it follows a different character. We're in a different place so I might read this. Also the one I just went to grab was Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. I'm really excited about this book so I might pick this up because it's also not that long either. Like I don't even think it's 300 pages so I probably could read and finish this in the 24 hours as well. I feel like I'm probably gonna go with Honey Girl or Love and Luck because they're a bit shorter but I do have a couple other options so I also grabbed Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I feel like just contemporaries in general I read a lot faster so I kind of went with that theme but this one is a bit long I think it's like maybe close to 450-ish pages. So this one would be quick for me to read but it is a bit longer so we'll see. And I also think all of Morgan Matson's books take place during the summer so it would be a good time to read this. And then the other one that I have just been wanting to read recently so I decided to throw it on here and maybe I'll pick it up but that's Vicious Spirits by Cat Cho. So this is like the companion book to Wicked Fox which I also read last year and thought was a lot of fun and now that it's like warmer out I feel like I want to read this because I read Wicked Fox in the summer so therefore I have to read this in the summer. Does anyone else do that? Like if you read a certain book in a certain series in a certain season you like have to read the other one in that same season. I don't know but I might pick this up but I'm not sure because this one again is a little bit longer. It's not quite 400 pages but it's close and it is like a fantasy kind of. I don't know about this one so we'll see what ends up happening but for sure I'm going to be starting with this and probably reading these at some point as well. But yeah I just wanted to enter this vlog and say hello and let you know what my TBR, my tentative TBR is and we're gonna be going live in like less than 15 minutes so I'm gonna go and get ready for that. update before I keep reading. Our first sprint, first live show just ended like five to ten minutes ago and we were sprinting for like four hours and I managed to get like halfway through with the fire on high and yes I have the ugly book of the month edition. Let's not talk about it. But I'm on page 190 so I think I'm like halfway through the book so I am thinking I'm going to try and get this done before our next live show at 8 p.m. I feel like I'll be able to do it. Um, if I just stay focused and I won't be on a live show where we'll chat and I'll get distracted. So I think I'll be able to get this done before then. I still have no idea when I'm going to read after this, but I'll figure it out. I need to finish this first. So I'm going to go and get back into my reading and hopefully finish this in the next couple of hours. <laughs> All 
right, folks, I have just finished my first book for the 24 hour readathon, and that was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. And I give this five stars. I, conclusion, Elizabeth Acevedo, one of my all time favorite authors. I've given all three of her books five stars. So I just, this woman can do no wrong. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna hop right into my next read. So I think what I might do is pick up Heartstopper. So I'm rereading volume one. I read this last year in July for the reading rush, but I haven't read volume two yet. So I think I'm going to read these next for some cute and wholesomeness. And it will also break up kind of the full length novels, as well as give me time to think about what I want to read next. I can ask on the live too if people have any opinions, so that'll be good. Our next live is at 8 and it's a little before 7 30 now, so I have like 40 minutes to maybe get through these. I don't know if I'm going to finish in time, but I'm going to start them. But yeah, so far so good. I've already finished a book, so I feel pretty good about that, and if that's the only thing I finish, that's fine. We are having some storms right now, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that my power doesn't go out or anything because then we won't be able to have the sprints or I won't be able to be on them. So, and I'm hosting the ones that are happening tonight. So let's just hope that everything goes smoothly. But yeah, that is my update. We are on our seven and a half of the readathon. Finished a book. I'm feeling good. I hope that these good vibes continue and I can get some more books read. Now Thursday it is 8 42 and we are going live again for the last sprints for the readathon in like 20 minutes so I thought I would give a bit of an update the books are over there but I did finish reading uh Heartstopper volume 1 and volume 2 on the sprints last night both were five stars Heartstopper volume 1 was a reread for me so I knew that was going to be five stars but I think I liked volume 2 even more it was just even more cute and just I was just like getting cuteness aggression. I said that on the live. It's just like, I don't know what to do with all of this overwhelming emotion because it's just so cute and so wholesome. So then we got off the live around like midnight, I think. Actually, it was probably a little bit after. It was probably closer to like 1230. And before I fell asleep, I wanted to start my next book, which I decided on Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. I think I read like 30 pages of this last night before I fell asleep around like 1.30 but I have been reading a little bit more. I'm now up to page 55 and we do have sprints from nine probably until the end of the readathon. So hopefully I can get this done before the 24 hours is up. I don't have many thoughts on this yet because I just started it, but I'm excited to see where it goes. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go and get ready for the next live show. And hopefully the next time I talk to you, I will have finished this. <music> All right, folks, the 24-hour readathon has just come to a close. It ended about 20 minutes ago, and so I thought I would give an update on where I got with Love and Luck and also, like, what I read. So with Love and Luck, I didn't manage to finish it, which I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. I predicted I would get close to finishing, but I wasn't going to be able to do it. So I did get up to page 202, and there's 299 pages. So annoying that there's not just 300, but there's 299 pages. So I'm less than 100 pages away from finishing it, and I probably will finish it later on today. I say that, but I might just lay in my bed and nap and maybe not read for, you know, another week. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm this tired. My eyes are like stinging, and I got the most sleep out of me, Casey, and Darian. So I don't know how they're doing because I got like six hours of sleep. So that's not bad. And I'm this tired. So they're so brave. <laughs> but yeah, let me just quickly recap what I managed to get read in the 24 hours. So I did finish with The Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo and I gave this five stars. It was so good. I, I think it's official. Elizabeth Acevedo is like my favorite author or like one of my favorite authors because all three of her books I've given five stars. And for some reason, I like couldn't call her one of my favorite authors when I feel like I hadn't read everything. But now that I've read this and it was also five stars, 
it's official. And then after that, I did pick up Heartstopper Volume 1 as a reread and then read Volume 2 for the first time and I gave both of these five stars. These are just so cute. Like, I kind of haven't stopped thinking about them since I finished them last night. And I know, like, the U.S. editions, the ones that are kind of colorful, and I also think these are a different size than the normal, like, U.K. editions. I think they're taller. So the U.S. edition of Volume 3 actually came out at the beginning of May, so I'm going to have to get that as soon as possible so I can read it. Well, this is fresh in my mind, but yeah. I love this so much. I love Nick and Charlie. They're so cute. So this was a good time. And then finally, with Love and Luck, I did read 202 pages. Didn't quite finish, but read like two thirds of it. So I'm happy with the progress I made, not only just, you know, with this TBR, but also just like with my physical books on my TBR. I read three that were unread. So that's pretty good. So let me quickly count up how many pages I read during the 24-hour readathon and I will let you know. So with the three books that I completed as well as parts of Love and Luck, I read 1,147 pages, which sounds really impressive. I mean, two are graphic novels, but you know what? It's still great. It's still impressive. I still did a great job. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that. I definitely made some good progress in my physical TBR and just had a great time. If you participated or attended any of the live shows, thank you so much. We had so much fun. It was really nice to kind of go from each live show and see the same people kind of show up and be participating with us. But even if you just popped in to say hello, Thank you so much. I hope it was entertaining and I hope you had a good time. And thank you to Casey and Darian for co-hosting this with me and just being my besties and putting up with me, even though they tend to bully me. <laughs> but yeah, it was so much fun. And we were talking about on the last live show of doing this again, maybe doing a 48 hour readathon next time to give us some more time to get some more reading in and also maybe some more sleep. <laughs> so definitely let me know in the comments if you'd want us to do that because we can start planning that and figuring that out. But yeah, I would say this was a success. Here is again everything I read this weekend, but I think that that is going to be it for this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.